All right, what's up, guys? Um, we are going back into the vintage radio. So hopefully you guys have a better understanding of UVs now uh, that we did the texture resolution test as well as the um, lightsaber UV. Um, just to show you guys a few more tools and how to unfold things that we may have not been affiliated with earlier. So now we're going to get back into what we left off. Um, we currently have the main dial done. I'm pretty sure we have all the pieces of the main dial completed uh, just in case I'm going to select it and isolate it and check so we're going to open up that UV editor and here I can see all of the UVs yeah yeah I'm pretty sure we have every piece here done so we can go ahead and move on from this piece and those three knobs on the bottom so we can go ahead and hide our main dial as well as our secondary knob so now all we have to UV are this guy here. The main body and these two sets of wires as well as the plug. And then from there we can move to the screw and placing all them down. I'm pretty sure we have all these bottoms done. Oh, we don't. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get these bottoms done because they're very uh, quick and easy. So from here we can just go ahead and select one and I'm going to shift right click, grab this UV shell. Um, I'm pretty sure this, yeah, the base plate is totally fine, uh, the, the front face of the cylinder. And from here we can just go ahead and UV shell, select the shell, shift right click and unfold. So we're shift right clicking and going to unfold and unfold. And from here we can go to our, oh, I do not have my, oh, what's it right here? Yeah. UV toolkit, I'm going to bring that up and connect it to our main window here. And from here we can go to our align and snap. My bad, our arrange and layout. I always say align and snap. We can orient those shells so they're snapped to a solid angle. <coughs> From here we can duplicate just like we did earlier where we go into uh oh wait we can't mirror because i'm not on the origin on this one we can mirror this way though so i'm going to go ahead and control d which will also duplicate the uvs as you can see it's just we need to now pretty much eyeball it instead of being able to have an exact location now we can go ahead and mesh mirror and mirror this in X and make sure it's doing a copy not a cut and cut is turned off and combine with original is also off we can hit apply from here and then select this one as well and we know that our settings are set properly so we can just click mirror so now that we mirrored both of those over and all the bo all bottom stubs are done um, we can go ahead and move on to the main box and these wires so the main box is actually going to be fairly easy. Um, we're just going to start off how we always do. We're going to open up our UV editor again. And from here, who's this? Oh. From here we can go ahead and UV camera based. And now we can get that nice view. And we're going to have to cut a seam on this in a pretty hidden location. Um, lucky for us, it's not hard to hide our main seam right here and we can honestly probably get away with cutting it along this bevel here as well in order to unfold this entire object so I'm going to cut actually we're not gonna do that I know I know a better way to do it so we can basically have completely hidden seams so we'll keep that unselected but we will select here and cut this right here and for the rest of them, we're going to select the front face there on these hard edges where it'll be much easier to hide seams because of the corner. And we can cut, and now I can break this into a bunch of separate shells. This guy should unfold perfectly fine because of that cut that we made earlier. And I lied, because apparently I didn't make that cut. And now we can unfold, there we go. So, as you can see, it didn't, uh, unfold properly so we're gonna have to do what we always do if it doesn't unfold properly the first time 
go to our unfold tool and use either U unfold or V unfold. We're going to try U and see how that works. And that worked for us pretty well. Cool. So now we can move on with these two. And these are probably going to pose a problem only right here. So we're probably going to have to select these hard edges because of the major. Remember, there's a major shape change here. Um, this these all faces all right here are facing um, Z direction while these faces here are facing uh, X direction so that way we know there's a definite shape change of uh, a 90 degree angle actually so any sort of major shape change like that will make it where we have to cut our seams uh, and separate the shells from here we're going to unfold this inner ring the same way we unfolded this outer ring because they have similar ways that the face uh, the faces are facing um, in terms of XYZ direction so we can just grab a corner I'm gonna go with them probably the one that's going to be hidden the most believe it or not is probably gonna be one of these top left or right corners because we're gonna be looking at it from a perspective of either this or this and we won't see that seam in the top right or left corner I'm going to go with top left because there's a lot less information over here while there are the knobs and such on this side. So it, people are much less likely to look at that top left. We can cut, we can go to UV shell, and from here we can unfold. And I'm going to scale up to check that resolution. And it seems to be a little bit rectangular so there's distortion we're gonna go ahead and unfold in you and that fixed it for us so um, we're not really worrying about the scale of everything right now we're gonna definitely pack that in when we're done because we're throwing everything on one texture sheet so we can just automatically get that textile density right when we're done and line everything up uh, on the sheet when we're we're not gonna waste our time doing it in between each one because we're gonna have to change it at the end anyway so I will, however, uh, increment and save just in case Maya decides to freak out. And from here, we can start messing with these other guys. Put that out of the way. And then we have this interface here, uh, which should unfold totally fine. Yep, it's just a rectangle. And these guys should unfold totally fine as well because they're just a front facing plane at this point. I'm going to scale up, check resolution, make sure it's all square which it does seem to be yeah <clears throat> and we're all good now we have to do the same thing to the back here so we're just going to repeat our process from the front we're going to select these inner edges and remember that trick I showed you earlier um, instead of having to because sometimes double click doesn't work with an interface like this so shift clicking the next doesn't give us the loop we want we can go to face mode select the face and from here we can shift right click and go to my bad not shift right click it's control right click and go to two edges and two edge perimeter and this will give us the edges that are on the perimeter of that face and from there we can cut go to UV shell and drag that piece away from this interface and from here we can unfold and then we can go ahead and double click this ring because this one is selecting so we can go ahead and cut it and put this one near this one this uh, the other front plate and unfold it from there we'll match these textile densities later we won't stack the shells however though we're not gonna do any shell stacking uh, it doesn't really matter what corner this one goes in uh, I mean maybe this one might be a little bit better because uh, there's a lot more leading lines pointing at this because of this wire going into the back of the box here so we may not want to put our seam there and instead put it over here so we're gonna go ahead and cut that grab this shell shift right click unfold and unfold and that should be the majority of the box completed um, all we have to do is make sure everything is unfolded Ooh, wait we don't want to do that because it'll undo what we fixed over here so I'm gonna make sure these two are unfolded and we're good now we can move on to the real challenge here there's probably going to be these wires 
we're probably only going to have time for one today um, because we're already at 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on the biggest one. And you guys probably won't have to watch me do the second one because it's going to be pretty much the same thing. So the first thing we're going to want to do is separate all these and delete history, center pivot, freeze transforms on all of them because we're going to have to now individually select them. We had them combined earlier so we can move them as a unit rather than grouping them. I find that grouping causes way more problems than combining does. Um, so I just like to use the combine tool rather than the group tool. Um, something we're gonna have to do here is in order to hide our seams, it's actually better for us to probably cut our seam on the bottom here rather than on the inside like you would assume because we can still see that seam right there from the top view. Not that these are going to have a lot of information anyway, they're mostly just gonna be a black cord. Um, but in the event that we do want to add dirt and wear and dust to them, uh, it's a lot easier to just hide that seam on the bottom than trying to get a uh, triplanar projection to work inside of Substance Painter with it. So from here we can go ahead and grab our object and start like we always do, UV, camera base and from here we can select this bottom ring I didn't mean to select that other object select that bottom ring and we can go to cut I'm going to press F to zoom in on what we're working with and from here we're going to try and unfold and see what that looks like The quality is honestly not terrible, but there is a good amount of distortion. And we may be able to fix this if we just cut a portion of it either here or on the other end. I'm going to go ahead and try with this one here because I feel like it's a pretty well hidden from the top stack. And we're going to cut that ring and see if it unfolds in a different way. Okay, we're getting a much longer unfold. This looks almost like a snake skin now. If I scale that up, yeah, you can see that we're, we have much less distortion than we did. This is probably as good as it's going to get with a shape like this, as organic as it is. So something we're going to do just to reduce um, the amount of like shell waste that we have, because this is so long, it's not going to get packed too well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and find another spot to cut it. Right there is probably not the best. Right here might not be so bad. And we can cut this here and then unfold these two shells. You can see it relaxes them just a little bit more. But now we have much more manageable sized shells here. And that's pretty much what we're going to have to do with each one of these. So I'm not going to like talk through each one. I'm just kind of going to speed run it. So if you guys want to play the video fast from here uh, on YouTube, you definitely can. And remember, we decided not to make one and um, duplicate it around because of how much shape change we have. We probably could have gotten away with it, but honestly, it's no big deal to sit here and do each one of these because it's honestly not hard. We're selecting a bottom ring and these two rings on the other side for pretty much all of them. And then from here, we're just selecting the entire thing and unfolding. It's not a complicated process and we're going to pack those shells later. So I don't you don't even have to touch them after you you get them projected and unfolded. <coughs> Uh, in the event like this where you don't have one running down the, the middle, it's better to choose the inside one rather than the outside. Um, just so it's not seen right here. It 
most likely won't be seen at the bottom there either because again this is going to be mostly just a black cord so it's not going to show up uh, too well anyway when we render and shade and all that almost done and then we're gonna get to this guy right here these two and it's probably gonna pose a different problem camera based there we go so we have all these this whole stack done and because I really don't feel like doing that again if my crashes I'm gonna go ahead and increment and save and we can take care of these two now so this guy here is oh I remember this this is the one that is connected to the fake wire that runs to the cord so from here we got to take this guy luckily it's separated so I'm pretty sure we don't have a face on this end I'm gonna press F so it becomes the center of my origin yeah this guy right there doesn't have a face and I don't think that one there does either so this is gonna be a lot easier to unfold um, the least obvious corner for this guy is going to be this uh, inside one that sits against this so we're gonna definitely use that to cut it uh, not the outer one but the one on the inside right here and from here we're going to start how we always do UV camera based and from here I can go to edge click that uh, double click that ring cut UV shell and see how it unfolds on the first time honestly not bad not a lot of distortion except for the places you'd expect it some right there that's most likely not going to get seen uh, we could cut that off if we felt like it but honestly if I'll change it later if it poses a problem inside of Substance Painter. So, from here, this one's probably going to be a bit different. Uh, we're going to go ahead and UV camera base. And I'm going to do this one really quick so we can go ahead and get out of here because it's, we're at 17 minutes right now. So, uh, the least obvious angle to cut this one at is, again, the one that's pressed against that one right there. Uh, it's pretty much unavoidable at the at the area that it's at here. The neck running up to the actual uh, radio. So what we can do is just come in here and select this outer ring and cut it across the entire thing, UV shell, and see how it unfolds. again not so bad a little distortion in some areas that's pretty not good but overall it's okay if we need to section it uh, which I think we really might I'm probably going to say we add a seam here and unfold this separately from this one here and that might relieve some of that distortion on it and this is pretty much where we can stop next video we will continue with the plug I will leave this one out because it's going to be exactly the same as this pretty much they're literally a duplicate and from here we can do this one tomorrow as well as this one and then we can talk about how we're going to place these and get this grommet uh, UV as well but we're almost to Substance Painter. We're almost talking about um, how to export. And we will be getting to that next video. Thank you guys. Take it easy. Uh, make sure you're wearing your mask, getting Germex. If you need any help, I'll be in the help channel every day, okay? Take it easy. Feel free to shoot me an email too if it's after hours.